Imaging has a key role to play in the diagnosis and management of infective endocarditis. Major guidelines, such as those published by the European Society of Cardiology, recommend transthoracic echocardiography as the first-line imaging modality in patients with suspected endocarditis. Echocardiography should be considered in all cases of Staphylococcus aureus bacteremia. This is because of the relatively high frequency of endocarditis in such cases and the potentially devastating consequences that can result from a missed diagnosis of Staph aureus endocarditis. What role does echocardiography play in the diagnosis of endocarditis? As you saw earlier in this MedMastery course, the clinical diagnosis of endocarditis can be made using the modified Duke criteria, which divides the clinical features into major and minor criteria. Recall that one major criterion for diagnosis is a relevant abnormality on echocardiography. What counts as a relevant abnormality? There are three key echocardiography abnormalities to look for during an endocarditis study. Firstly, is the presence of one or more vegetations. Secondly, is the presence of a valve abscess. Thirdly, is partial dehiscence of a prosthetic valve. A vegetation appears on echocardiography as an oscillating intracardiac mass on a valve or its supporting structures in the path of regurgitant jets or on implanted material. Typically, valvular vegetations are found on the atrial side of the mitral or tricuspid valves or the ventricular side of the aortic or pulmonary valves, but this is not an absolute rule. Recall that vegetations don't just affect native and prosthetic valves, they can also occur on virtually any part of the endocardium or on implanted devices. As for abscesses, these are most often seen in the aortic root or in association with prosthetic valves. Valve dehiscence is evidenced by a presence of paravalvular regurgitation, indicating that the edge of a prosthetic valve has started to come loose from its suture line due to the infection in that region. As well as its role in establishing the diagnosis of infective endocarditis, echocardiography can provide information about pre-existing abnormalities, help to identify complications, assist in prognostication, and predict embolic risk. You'll learn how to detect endocarditis using echocardiography in the upcoming MedMastery lessons. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MedMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MedMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.